Understanding the relationships between the cells and your formulas allows you to better diagnose return errors, circular references, and even follow the logic used in files that are shared with you. With Excel's trace precedence and trace dependence features, you can quickly follow the breadcrumbs and identify the impact on and from your formulas throughout a worksheet. Let's first look at the trace precedence feature. Precedents are cells that have a direct impact on the outcome of your formula. So as the precedents change in value, so does the active cell. Here's an example worksheet with hard-coded values and formulas that rely on those values. I've got a drop-down list in cell I2 that takes an employee name and calculates the average cost of each unit sold for that employee. If I were to select cell I3, you can see the formula bar populates with the Excel logic used to return a value. But instead of trying to decipher what it's doing, we can go to the Formulas tab and click the Trace Precedence button. You now see two arrows pointing to the active cell. The first arrow comes from the drop-down where our chosen name is. The second arrow originates from the table to the left. The table has three columns that directly affect the outcome of the average unit cost, as shown by the blue borders and dots. In simple terms, the formula looks for a match of employee name, then takes the corresponding columns to calculate the unit cost. If we want to follow the trail even further, we can hit the Trace Precedence button again. If a formula exists in the field, new errors will show their path. In this case, the unit sales column is pulled from the sum of the table below. If you're finished tracing the formula path, you can return to your default view by selecting the Remove Arrows button on the ribbon. Here's another example. If I select cell E4 to click Trace Precedence, you can see the column to the left driving the return value. Cell D4 is divided by the sum of the total sales value range to give us 7%. Now let's talk about dependence. The Trace Dependence feature will tell you if the active cell is referenced in a formula somewhere else. This is helpful to know so you can pre-plan any complex formulas to avoid such things as circular references. While using trace precedence only works in a cell containing a formula, trace precedence works just fine on standard values. If I highlight cell C17 and click trace precedence under the formulas tab, you can see an arrow pointing to the above table. Cell C5 references its precedent using the sum function. Like before, I can click the trace precedence button again and follow the breadcrumbs to the next reference in I3. And in case you're wondering, you can use both features at the same time. When you want to remove the arrows, you can choose to remove all of them or just one of the options found in the dropdown. And that's it. This was just a small example of what trace options can do for you, but they really show off their value when you find yourself working with more complex and expansive workbooks. I hope you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing for more Excel tips and tricks. See you next time, data people.